Okay, so here's a couple of ten minute rounds. <laughs> and James is a couple of weeks out from the con, so he wanted to really kind of work on his wrestling a fair bit for the first ten minute round. Um, and just do some harder guard passing, back taking, guard playing kind of stuff for the second. See here he's trying to snap down the top. Get a sort of a sprawl and yeah, manage just on it anyway. You can see I'm on on a, um, a bit of a guillotine front head position sort of there. Trying to <laughs> so that it was worth letting go off. I've sped up a few bits of it here just because I didn't want to since on this one we were trying to be on our feet, trying to get back up to my feet there. Let's see. Tries to jump at the more, so I managed to reverse the position. But uh, like I said, I sped this up. Once he's back to his feet, I slow it down again, so you can see a little bit more of a hand fighting. I'm actually trying to open up his left side there. That's why I'm going around, but this is really fine. Good times. The GoPro's fairly far away, so I'm pretty sure I've sped this bit up as well here. There's a nice few little backwards and forwards. Me and James have rolled a bit, a fair bit together, so we tend to sweep and reverse each other's positions quite a bit. It's like that little grab both legs and trip them over and take down. Managed to give him a little bit of difficulty in the outlet sort of thing, but like I said, we're focused on our stand up this game this round. Just had a little bit of play with the collar tie. See that reverse? See how I reversed that right grip there? James is doing a really good job of keeping that distance. Seeming like he's really passive and then shooting in for a double singles or a duck under style in wrestling. His reaction's on it's very nice too, so it's good. Very nice. Terrible. I definitely should be taking that to pass you out. World to world splatter as well. Oh no, Pinata to recover top position. And here, I've left this part in. Because, um, James does a great job of um, defending his back. See, I'm just trying that little um, kind of wedge style back take there. Didn't quite get it to work the way I wanted, but it's good for me to watch myself, so I'll leave that in so I can watch it back at a later stage. It's the main goal in this video. James is doing a great job of keeping on his side to the point that I push into him and he just immediately reverses that. That was that sweep was all on time and very nice of that. I think that's kind of a little bit like what I'm doing. A bit of nice time of trying to push him away with my feet, pull him forward. I just trap his ankles up here. Yeah. Get out of here! <laughs> Got out of chuck. Where's that? Oh. oh, what am I doing sitting down? I'm supposed to be wrestling this round. It's okay. Half my brain cells are working. Cardio isn't quite the best at the moment, so I think I've done about six minutes of wrestling, I think. And I also know I've got two more ten minute rounds to go, I think, at this stage. Hey, nice to have a rest there. And I'm pretty, yeah, I was going to say, I should have sped this bit up. Not really wanting to watch me. Play and passing and mount and that sort of stuff when we're doing wrestling. What is this? <clears throat> right, here we go again. James is definitely a better wrestler than I am. And that's completely due to his um, work ethic on that and my. Well, I've had a few um, injuries from doing wrestling, and at the moment I'm. Yeah, not feeling like risking a whole lot more. Obviously with James, I, you know, I'm comfortable with, with his wrestling and that sort of thing. I know he's not going to do crazy moves. Right? It's going to be actual wrestling moves executed properly. So 
yeah, I'm not, I'm not worried. I know I can try to spoil safely, and you know, if he picks me up, he'll just um, ease me down to the ground. Nice little anchor tap there. Did absolutely nothing with it. Obviously, because I'm tired. Let's bed this up again. Enter, in, enter into the legs to my own detriment. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm thinking to myself, I really should get an ovary skip on there for way too easy. But getting the is not even really open here, but James really... Oh, I guess it depends on what he's doing. But this time he's getting underneath me quite well. Regardless of my underhooks or spoiling or that sort of thing. At this point, I am. Thank you. Yeah. That's nice. Nice one to put me down softly. Mm. Choy bar, I think. I can hate that, right? I've got this. I was like, I'm going to toy bar. Must do the next dimension. See you later, Jack. Use that sweat to just slip my arm out. And I'm pretty Time. sure. Oosh, that was 10. Time. How many times did I say pretty in the space of 30 seconds then? Mmm. <laughs> James would be proud, mate. Just stand up. <laughs> this second round. <laughs> I can wrestle. Like one. Nah, try and wrestle. All that is to stand up. Well, both sides. Yeah, I don't want to be wrong. That's good. Not really. Like we're it. trying to work hard. We're not trying to actually stall each other out and capitalise on things. We're actually trying to work positions, and if we don't get the positions, move on to actually try to submit, not rather than install. It's the kind of way I like to play and I find it much more physically demanding and fun, which is, I mean, obviously it looks better. It's more, it's a better way to play jujitsu, in my opinion, especially as like a hobbyist and somebody using it for fitness. And well, if you even, even if you're going to compete, you want people to watch you, I like constant movement, that sort of thing. A little far better than so I know getting, you can get somebody to mount and hold them out for the whole round there, yeah, dominate and win the whole time, you don't really expose anything. It's extremely boring to watch and as a practitioner I try to try to the whole time today. I really consider myself as a competitor, so I like movement, I like fun, I like to catch up with mates and it's <laughs> <laughs> oh, should have move this on a bit can't really see kinda left more of this in hoping that we can see where it's at. Oh I think you've got a nice little outside heel hook there. Mmm Psyching ourselves up. <laughs> if I'm, yeah, a lot of the time, yep. especially when I'm tired, I like to do backgrounds. I feel like if I'm tired and sweaty, it's less things for me to think about. I can just bite your hands off, wait till you start to attack, and then wriggle around until I can get my back on the floor or I can find an angle and reverse like that. Can't quite remember, but I'm pretty sure I say I had another crack. I'm thinking to myself, I wonder how deep I can let a rear naked go. Ugh, this is a terrible angle. No. James doing a good job of keeping it dead square. So like my shoulders are square to his shoulders, so it's hard for me to actually find much of an angle. Mm. And it just here, my hips managed to find an angle there, so got out. Half guard. Try to chase the back, I won't do it, I get that. I've realised that I won't get the back, so I've tried for an arm bar, but 
you can't say James is going to be a tall one to can catch an easy armbar this late, <laughs> late in the game. Mm, very nice defence. Very nice. Wait. Technical relations. Tyler Lowe's in the other I'm not going to pin. Tyler been working back so far. James. Um, prep for like his get get his guard, get his back attacks good, get his um, wrestling like on point. Like work the work the things that he wants to um, practice on rather than just um, very nice. Roll to the death.